Abby Huffman with Twinspire, standing here with trainer Whit Beckman, who's going to be saddling Honor Marie over here in the Risen Star on Saturday on the road to the Kentucky Derby. He won the Grade 2 Jockey Club at Churchill last time out in November. Whit, how has he moved forward off that win, and what have you seen from him and his training since being here at Fairgrounds? Training's always been ultra consistent. I think moving from November to now, he's just kind of a bigger, stronger mm -hmm. Uh, more alive animal. He was always pretty easy going, um, but he's definitely kind of starting to figure things out on the, uh, you know, just uh, getting out and put a little bit more into his training. You know, mm -hmm. he's just, yeah, doing everything he needs to do from two to three, you know. And he was pretty impressive in that two turn test back at Churchill. What about in his training and just what you've seen from his races suggested that he'd want to stretch out? I mean, earlier, we just pedigree, obviously, was one of the things we knew were going to, you know, kind of help him as the distances got further. But just the way he's always trained, we know he had a ton of stamina. Stamina. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he's had a little bit of natural speed. You know, he hasn't really shown it as much in his races. I think that might be, you know, Rafa and him kind of working together. But, you know, all uh, signs early on, knew, we knew he'd get better around two turns. And then you had mentioned kind of going from two to three. What are some things that, you look for at this stage is they're developing that are kind of signs that they're heading in the right direction. Yeah, he's an early, like kind of a late foal. He's a May foal. So I think early on he had a lot of just kind of immaturity just in his physical, you know, development. So he was still capable of, you know, putting some pretty serious performances with all of that, you know, just kind of being a younger, like less mature horse. But just in the like, three months since then, yeah, he's put on weight, muscle mass. Mm -hmm. He hasn't grown taller, but he has lengthened and just, you know, kind of sharpened up to the point where mm -hmm. he's kind of figuring things out. And then I'm not from here. We're in town for a few days. What, if you had to give me something, what's your favorite, your go-to restaurant around here? Go-to restaurant? Um, I, I mean, you could say something like, you know, local Louisiana cuisine. I was at Laosa's mm -hmm. last night, and their gumbo for me is, like, probably some of the best oh. gumbo. I'm not from here either. I'm from, you know, Louisville, <laughs> so I don't know how much I can comment. But there's a couple, like, really nice Vietnamese places. Oh. And just there's a lot of really good restaurants around. So, like, to survive as a restaurant down here, yeah. I feel like you got to be, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good. So I haven't had anything bad yet. Yeah, there's – you can't really go wrong here in New Orleans, but no, might have to try some of these places. Yeah. Uh, best of luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.